Well, it all started last week when mainly AT&T customers were having problems hearing other people's conversations. We talked to CenturyLink customers as well, and they were also having the same problem. But when we talked to the company, CenturyLink said it wasn't on their end. And we think the resolution is going to have to come from the wireless carrier. Okay, which which carrier? Uh, well, it's pretty well known. We feel it's possibly on an, on the AT&T side. On Monday evening, we talked to AT&T, and they said they were aggressively trying to solve the problem with technicians on a local, regional, and national level. But today, when they called us back, they said, hey, wait a minute, it wasn't our problem at all. And they directed us back to CenturyLink. It was one of our cards uh, at our switch. Uh, there was no alarm sounded. Uh, we did some, uh, ran some traffic through it to identify it. It was changed out. Hopefully this resolves the issue. Now CenturyLink says you shouldn't be having any more problems since they changed out that card. And if you do, you should give them a call. Reporting in Jefferson City, Daniel Wynn, KRCG News.